Hi guys. Um, believe it or not, all London podcasts are back. <laughs> so all London podcasts are we're back. We're actually back, guys. <laughs> um, not in radio format, just a podcast. So we're actually here again, bringing you us because we've been away for a minute now. Well, it's been like a month. No, do you know what? Yeah, I'm not even trying to put a time. Yeah, no, but, don't remember, <laughs> it's but been a long it's time. like I don't. I mean, we'll get into it. But it was an unintentional break. Yeah. You don't actually know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> it's just life, life in it exactly. Yeah, 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 life happened to be honest with you. Um, but due to popular demand, so all you <laughs> men that were requesting, we better see the numbers rack up. Yeah, still, you know I mean? So, so <laughs> but due to popular demand, we're back. We're back again. <laughs> back and better. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got me, Afia, and we also have me Charlene yes, yes. and uh, and it's just us today there's no special guests it's just us yeah going back but to we've been mission. bringing you we've been bringing you guests you yeah, know like actually we've actually been bring, we've been bringing you different content you know we like to change it up and it's all a part of being old right exactly. old is we can do whatever we want exactly. so we like to bring it change it up bring in people and we'll continue to do that but today it's just us real and raw you know chatting our shit but it's like back, back to basics isn't it because I feel when we first started this it was just me and you just talking about literally whatever no. there was no like <laughs> format it was just like yeah we'll just do whatever but also like we're almost coming up to one year anniversary um, I know I know it's actually like very fast it approaching has, yeah yeah it's and May. it's actually quite scary because like yeah it's literally like I think it's like the I'm not going to say a date but it's the beginning of May mm-hmm. and I'm thinking actually we probably should do something to celebrate that oh, yeah, I'm not sure what that should. is yet but we should maybe yeah because I want to make it like more like, like quite a lot of yeah. listens. I mean, like I feel like I want to do like more interactive stuff. Like I want you guys to like, if you want to ask us something, you guys like you guys need this to interact true. more on Instagram because we do put questions out. And some of you guys just don't answer, so please answer. Yeah, you just air <laughs> us, but you look at it. Yeah, but exactly, you exactly. Us. You see it. But yeah, do you know what? Oh my god, we can have like an ask ALP section. Yes, like that would be yes, sick. That's like, what I want to do. Let's give you guys advice. Advice unwarranted, but if it's not, I don't. We'll give you what we think. Like, what is the old way to handle things? Yes, it's not to handle it at all. <laughs> if not. To- that's not <laughs> it at all. <laughs> I know. It's not it. <laughs> and with the questions part, I can't take full credit for that. It was actually Matt who said that we should do that. So I'm gonna shout out to you, Matt. Like you did suggest that. So thank you for that idea. <laughs> that was his thing. I don't know why he did that. What do you mean? People still ideas all the time. Like, oh yeah. Why did you say that? <laughs> like, why not? Well, like, That's and also I added issue. sauce to it. I called it Ask ALP. Should we ask like, ALP? Okay, nice. we changed it. We've we've changed it up. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. <laughs> like the world was just made up of like teeth enough ideas. Matthew didn't care. As well, sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. But, uh, <laughs> this is just this is just gonna be like just a catch up episode. We're just gonna talk about like what's been good because a lot's happened in the past month. To be fair. A lot um, has happened. Loads yeah. of different stuff. You know, we like to talk about pop culture, po- politics, current events, all them things there. Um, the politics is dead. But yeah, it's like, it's like I mean, like, like no, one kind of. about, no one cares about the mayor election. Like, no one cares True. about the election. I mean, I don't even like, know who I'm voting. I mean, and I'm not like a person to say, oh, yeah, I haven't been following it. I think that's really bad, but I genuinely have not been following this. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> like, they keep banging up the, the ads on YouTube, though. Like, literally, there's one dude, I think he's for them and the conservatives they keep isn't he a youtuber up as well ads. or something like that i don't know yeah. but they just keep popping up ads on youtube i'm just mm. like wait what did any how does anything that i do on the internet scream conservative yeah like, yeah, yeah like, like what like they have to be like as i work in marketing now they have to yeah. they have to like pick some sort of data like i don't know what kind of data they're using but like brother like i've been hit with them ads so many times and sadiq i ain't seen him at all bruv doesn't matter i haven't seen sadiq at all fam. you haven't seen sadiq but yeah in okay. terms of mm. I haven't seen the Sadiq on the ads at all, fam. I don't know, in terms of, like, this mayor election, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm kind of, if I vote begrudgingly, I know it's very, you know, irresponsible, blah, 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 but I just, I don't know. I feel very unenthused, I'll be honest mm. with you. I'm going to look, we've still got some time, though, I guess, to, like, look it up a little bit, because it's on the 6th of May, isn't it? 6th of May. On the when? I don't think I even... I think it's on the 6th of May. Um, oh, is it that soon? Yeah, so it's only, yeah, like, next week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, wow. if uh, we well, can't register now, it's too late. So, <laughs> bro, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think. I don't know if I have you registered. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you haven't even registered. <laughs> well, sorry. No, I don't feel like you have to register, do you? Yeah, if yeah, you're you already do, registered, yeah. then you, have to, so you, you, have to, you have to register every time. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. So, so long as they do, they send you like a little letter to your house, and you get the little leaflet. Oh, here, this this is where you need to go and vote. Did you get that? 
um, well, the way my living situation is set up, I don't oh, know. You might, oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> but, let's see the well, potentially, <laughs> potentially. But yeah, I mean, one would one would like to think, yeah, you know, I don't know. I feel like I, yeah, I usually sign up to vote, so I feel like I'm on the electoral register. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Fun. Is that all you need to do? Do you have to sign up each time? I had to sign up. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, we'll yeah, see. But what you've happens. been dipping. You've been, you've been <laughs> moving locations. I around, move locations. So. Like, I have to register every flipping year at this stage. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, what, what else has been happening? Obviously, lockdown's easing as well. Yeah, lockdown's easing. Do you know what? I feel like a breath of fresh air. I'm not even going to front, yeah. Mm. Obviously, you, man, let us know, like, you know, DM us, comment, whatever. But like, I feel like. I've got a new lease of life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, definitely. I'm not gonna no lie to you. Like, I really do. I feel like I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And obviously, like we still need to be cautious and that. Yeah. But it's been nice to be out and about. To be yeah. honest with you. I have yet. I've got. I will, yeah, yeah. Go on. What are you say? I was gonna say I have yet to have my first outing. I was gonna, I'm gonna have my first outing next week, um, which will be cool. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just excited to just enjoy the the warmer weather. Uh, do you mean say outing? Do you mean like to a restaurant or something? Or do you, oh, do you I'm mean? going to a beer garden. Yeah, yeah. First outing, so going out actually a venue that's outside my house for the first time in one year so yeah. i feel like with everyone in the uk like you know doing the vaccination things and that like mm. it, i feel like it you know makes the whole environment a bit safer yeah you know, yeah so. yeah i mean like um, yeah definitely i mean i don't think i don't know how i feel about like the clubs in june because that's only what two months now um i'm gonna see how it plays out before i even think of doing that but if they do like a cute thing where it's like outside because there's a venue that is in it's in Vauxhall I can't remember the name of it but basically they have like a massive outside smoking area and they could definitely just do like a club thing out there oh, I think so there's fi- fire has one fire fire um, is fire that's what I was talking about wait so you you want to be going to I didn't even know people still did that anymore I'm not gonna lie is what, that you fire, I went to fire like three four years ago this is a long time but I'm just saying you went to f- venues that's, that's even recent though I would last time I went to fire was like 10 years ago 10 bro. years ago. see I went no, I lied it was more like it was more like seven yeah it's, a but it's like but I mean god but I'm just saying like if they did venues that were like, outside and it was a club like mm. just outside then I'd be more I'd be more like willing to it but being inside in a sweaty club I'm so yeah, like, I'm not gonna mm. lie being hitched up and then you're already sweating exactly. people are breathing heavy like exactly. what well, am I supposed to wear masks and suffocate to death exactly. like you're joking and do you know what I think the thing is it's like oh god, yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'll say, I think we spoke about this in another podcast, but like, what's going to happen to the culture of people who like to, you know, like go out and like kiss people? Like, is that going to be a thing? Are people going to feel I like just want, I safe? think Jay what? I know people are a bit, I know people are doing that. So they're just living their life. Enough. That's how, yeah, fair that's enough. it. And I feel like, Jay what? Us man who are like single and that, it's just like we have to live our lives. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not quite ready. I'm not on that level yet. But like, you know, when time comes, yeah. like, you know, I feel like, I'm starting to rip off, rip off the band-aid, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Do you think it's going to be like, uh, I'm going to kiss you, but like, first of all, have you been vaccinated? And then we're like, mm, well, <laughs> I don't know. So like, <laughs> we like that now. And they're saying as well that like, apparently it's been proven now that it's at, if it's, it's actually harder for you to catch it if you have been. And also okay, it's, yeah. it's, it's harder yeah. for you to transmit it if you have been as well. So Good. that's why that means the same thing. I mean, pass it on. Yeah, well. pass it, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, Yes, that's good. I, yeah, do you know what? It's it's really it's it's the whole minefield. Um, mm. you know, I know people have been just dipping and doing it this whole time. Yeah, I've yeah, been, same. Been, like, <laughs> been on this hinge life. Like I've been on this hinge life, mm-hmm. and it's been like you know, to take the risk because why not? Yeah, <laughs> Man's yeah. got to live my life. Like, um, I'm like, well, that's that's a lot still. But mm. you know what? I rate you. I rate you still. That's I think and I, I rate yeah, you. and I feel like my mindset has definitely changed from like being the start of the lockdown to now because at the start I was like people just need to stay at home like stop being selfish da, da, da. but now I'm sort of like well you know like it has been a year and like people are just going to do what they want to do at the end of the day like um, people are frustrated people are like haven't seen their family or friends for like years on end so like I can't even really hold it against people because there's a deadly pandemic yeah that's why. I know but at the I end mean, of the day at this stage now <laughs> I hear what you're on, saying I'm like I can't even be mad at people acting mad I mean personally I'm not no, going to do it I'm not going to f- <laughs> I'm not going to lie I don't I think I think it's calm yeah. because of where we're at yeah, in terms true. of the fact that deaths are so low. True, yeah, yeah. Praise God, and like cases are significantly lower, and that's only going to improve. You know, as you know, once they start vaccinating, like you know, the twenties sort of mm. to thirties age group, it's going to make a huge difference because those are people that are going out, but yeah, also, that's exactly. also the biggest age group of of adults. Mm. So like. Um, but um, I think for me, like, yeah, seeing like the decline and seeing like the situation improve mm-hmm. is why I'm like, okay, do you know what? Do your thing in it. Like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, if it hadn't been, I, w- I, s- I wouldn't understand that. Like, oh, we'll yeah, have to yeah, sit in same. the house for two years as long as it takes because, at the end of the day, I just think like, we're, yeah, the amount of people that lost lives, man. And, and exactly. I don't know, like, you know, personally, 
now I know people unfortunately who have passed away and it's just like do you know what mm. it don't even make sense to me like but we thank you know thankfully we're in a better situation but mm. can I just say outside is a bit mad like so obviously the first Saturday out was not Saturday's gone but the one before and oh mm. my days was it Packer? man was in Greenwich <laughs> pack up, pack up pack uh, it was like the migration like it was crazy they got that like, little um, sauce that market thing in it or something is that what you went Brother, to? Brother, it yeah. was just mad. No, I didn't go to the uh, market because that is the ghetto. <laughs> As in the ghetto in terms of like, that is pack up. But um, no, I went to like a restaurant, but that was busy as well. Um, but then just in general, like the roads was busy. Like people, and because you can buy drinks in the market, people walking uh, up and down on road with like, with like cups of beer in their hand. Mm, Every everyone's single enjoying. restaurant, bar, pub, everything mm. was just packed up. And I was just like, rah, tid. Mm this is too much <laughs> me can't <laughs> me can't do it me can't do it like, oh. I was just, it's just so I feel like you know maybe they could everyone could have done staggered I don't know but like I was just like tripping I didn't realize it's gonna be so crazy like so well, the, the thing is with the British um, public is if you give them what's the saying if you give them an inch they'll take, inch a mile. take 10 steps yeah well. yeah it's because like boy <laughs> so yeah I'm not even surprised no, 100, 100%. Not even but do you know what would be nice to your point no, it's, it's, it's they take an inch, take a step, but I've yeah, added 10. Yeah. Um, what I would say, though, is that, like, that's where... Of, the problem is with the outdoor um, stuff is, of course, our weather is pants. So it's like, that's the thing, you know, I'm so just thinking... Annoying. yeah. Exactly, because I'm just thinking, like, you know, when I've gone to, like, places like Miami or um, LA, places like that, like, obviously, and, you know, even Sierra Leone, like, there was... Um, and also, shout out to Sierra Leone Independence Day yesterday. Obviously, we are filming on a Wednesday... But yeah, shout outs to my salon people them couche. <laughs> anyway, um but they but they but yeah, they have bars outside and so it's calm. Um but obviously they can because the weather's good, mm. right? And like but like the UK just isn't built for that. <laughs> so it's like because it's it's deceiving. The sun mm. might be shining, but it's not hot, it's cold out there. Like it's Brother, cold. It's cold. <laughs> so, today is cold. Is it, I think that's how today was. Yeah, it looks cold. Nah. Which is great. No, well. I'm cold in the house. Yeah, like, I'm yeah, cold no, in the oh, house. Yeah, we put on the heating from early, yeah. It's cold, it is cold. Fine. Damn, that's what I'm saying. And we have to put on the heat in from morning, like it's it's, it's, it's a mad. Of, we're basically in May. Exactly. Like, so we're like, come on, man, just pack up a bit. This is like full time springtime, like full springtime, and you're doing exactly. this. Exactly. It's, exactly. it's actually a madness. But um. Um, yeah, man, let's talk about Seb Goss. What's bringing you in? What's going on? <sighs> I don't even know. Where where can we begin? Where can we begin? Let's start. Let's just start with Chloe. Okay? Let's let's oh. let her. <laughs> Let's just start easy. So this is my thing, right? <laughs> okay. So if you don't know what we're referring to, obviously the picture came out. That picture was oh, supposedly put out by her assistant, and it's a picture that she basically just didn't want out. So she trademarked it and then basically got took it, and then got it. Wait, she got it trademarked as well. I didn't know that part. Yeah. Fucking so up. she could take it down from everywhere and anywhere, basically. Fucking so sick. she made it like her own property, so she could do that. And the thing is, that one, the picture is not bad. <laughs> like, no, it's not. Look, she's got a flat ass stomach. Exactly. Like she looks good. Exactly. Like her, her, what is different is her face. Yeah, that's so, it. Like, but her body looks to me the same, right? Because like she does clearly she's have abs. Not, she's worked, yeah. you know. She's she's she worked out, and so you can see that. So I really don't think it's an issue. Obviously, maybe I don't think she's done up. You know, like she's got makeup on, and also her face is not how it looks. How she likes to face the- tune the ross out of it, so it doesn't look like that basically. So I mean, I just think for me, like I I think. I understand the end of the day I don't want there's I, I understand not wanting pictures that you don't want out, out of you if that makes sense like, I get that like there's those pictures where like you know if you're out with your friends and you take pictures and you'll be like oh I don't like that one don't like that one so like delete that delete that like I get that we all do that but I think like I think with the, for me anyway I can speak for myself and obviously I'm sure you'll say what you want to say mm. but for me the issue came where like why are we chatting so much about it like it I'm like why, what was all these posts about why? like I'm confused like I was like brother like you did not need to say it's that much like too- I, that's a, like it was too much and so that was like my main thing like what was the need for like all of that prose <laughs> because like it was it was so long that it could be considered prose yeah, to be honest with it, you. it so, was prose <laughs> uh, yeah like I'm uh, just like what the hell like I just don't understand so yeah what for me think? For me, I've got a lot to say about it. Um, so first of all, I was trying to ignore it because that family just jars me anyway. But anyway, it was just, it was everywhere. Like the photo was going around and I thought, I think I've mentioned this before, but I follow this like plastic surgery page. That is, I think it's quite a good page because it like lets girls know that like a lot of the bodies and stuff that we see are either like photoshopped or they have had surgery, but they're just celebrities are just not admitting it. And just to be like, look girls, like these things are not achievable at the gym. They've done this, they've done that. Like, so just, you know, either feel good in yourself or if you do want to like, 
actualize these dreams and like this is how you do it and it's not by going to the gym it's by getting surgery so yeah that's that um so yeah that um the photo obviously came out um and then i saw it and i was like okay it's not even that bad like she looks fine i actually prefer her face looking like this and not so like all heavily edited because she auto tunes auto tunes she like face tunes her face all the time and i just don't understand why but yeah fine whatever um and then like yeah she had like maybe i don't even think like any cellulite but maybe she had a little bit and some girls like it was really refreshing seeing this because you don't really see celebrities in this way it made me feel good about myself and made me feel like i was normal and i was like that's good it's good that this image has come out and i hope that like she comes and like you sort of owns it in a way but instead of owning it she wanted to do up like no actually like that's not how i look i'm like i'm actually looking like this really like i'm actually really slim like this photo was just like not my best angles this this this, this. and i was like okay now you're actually just doing too much um and like just for the fact that she was saying i couldn't i because i because i sympathize with i empathize with the fact that she was like you know i was always called the ugly sister i was always called fat this that and the other um but you coming out and proving how slim you are and all this stuff how is that supposed to make girls who don't look like that or look like you now um feel i just i didn't understand it mm. like mm. what point are you trying to prove um i don't get it um, it just screams insecurity. I mean, obviously she is insecure to have done all that to you, her body and still heavily edit still. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really disappointing. But I mean, what can we expect from that family anyway? Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. It's just very yeah. Annoying. No, I hear that. I think um, it's just uh, it's. I think that we do. I mean, and you know, we've shared views about different things I've done, yeah. and I just feel like people give too much energy to that family. To Way be honest with you, yeah. um, mm-hmm. and so you know, um, to the Kardashian Jenners. Yeah. You know, I'm not tripping like I said earlier. <laughs> but um, so I think I just think for me, like you know, I just you know, I, and it's clear that she you know has self esteem, some self esteem issues and things like that. But it's just it's really it's 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 bizarre like it's really bizarre like um like the need for doing things like that i just think like you know just just have a bit more confidence in yourself like it's all good you know so yeah that's how i feel yeah so anyway moving on what 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 next what what else is in the land of goss <laughs> um so there's been like recently i've seen the i'm sure you've seen it as well these pictures of zach efron that have come out um yeah. And, like, so yeah. yeah so at first when i saw them i was like what the fuck has gone on um because like if you guys haven't seen basically his face is like just changed because someone said that he's um, broken his jaw so yeah someone said that he's broken his jaw um and i think what's happened now um is that he's had some sort of filler because his jaw is like really filled out and his lips are a bit puffy and his face is just do you not think that he might puffier. have just like we added a few pounds. Like I, re- I, I actually think read, so. I read didn't see he's it. It's not, like that no. crazy when I looked at the picture. No, he's very, he's very, very like toned. I think he's looked that way for a while, but nobody noticed until that video came out. Um, but then, like, then I actually found out some more information because some of his fans were like, "Oh, it's actually really out of order that people were laughing at this and like commenting on it." When actually he's had like a little, he's had, I think he had like an eating disorder, um, and basically it was an eating disorder where he didn't want to gain any weight. Because if you notice now, his um, physique is like he's incredibly muscular and he doesn't have like any inch of fat on him. Um, so right. I think he was worried about gaining weight, um, and I think he's just generally been like worried about his appearance so that may be like reason as to why he may or may not have altered his face so that's quite sad actually um and just and just yeah and just knowing like how young he's yeah how long he's been in the industry because they were like super young in it when um high school musical came out yeah i mean he's been around before that summerland like oh yeah of course yeah so like he was yeah definitely teens yeah yeah so he's all yeah so he must have always had that pressure so i actually do feel like Mm. quite quite about him um so yeah, I like I, I'm not gonna lie like when I looked at like seen this obviously like, when I looked at the picture I was just like oh okay like I don't know he's just like to me someone who's just like aged if I'm honest like yeah maybe yeah maybe, like, maybe 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 it just looks like you know sometimes when you age you're you know if you, you know sometimes your weight or things like you know go to different places some people's faces get round up if that yeah. is the case I mean I didn't see any like issue with it to be honest at all but you yeah know, um yeah like i just that's honestly what i thought and i was just like yeah. you know what like people keep comparing him to his like 16 year old self yeah because obviously he's not gonna like, look like that yeah right do you know what i mean yeah. um you know i obviously had a crash on troy boys bolton but you know like <laughs> Tyson was some of the best films I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So just FYI. So good, it was so good. We are fans. Um, <laughs> we are fans. But One also, of our friends actually, do you remember? Um uh A Nizzle. Yeah. She did like an annotation. Do you remember like Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Had a good lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Shouts out to you, Ain't as well. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did. Um, did like some I was, deep, like. <laughs> I was just going to say as well, it's inter- maybe even the way that we've just spoken about it as well. It's just interesting the way in which people treat supposed male um, cosmetic surgery procedures to women Um, so I guess like males may be met with like a bit more like sympathy or like I don't know but then with women it's like oh my god like why has she done I mean Zach Efron's was kind of met with like oh my god why has he done that but I guess people were a bit more sympathetic Um, so I just wanted to just say that just as an example just to say like maybe there is difference in treatment between men and women when it comes to plastic surgery so Mm. yeah Yeah, no Joe that's that's true you know I think like Joe I'm actually chilling like I feel like I don't know I don't really feel any way when I see like women do it I think yeah people get so mad about it though. but no no I completely agree I mean yeah. well look at the conversation we just had right so yeah. it's just like I just think be transparent I, my key is be transparent there's nothing wrong with having work done just be transparent like you can't have I mean girls yeah. thinking that oh yeah I can look this way by going to gym like no it's not true you can yeah but you- I think that you I think actually what it is now is that we have to learn how to um well, so not in a patronising way, but I think we have to alter like the way that we look at things, yeah, um, for and sure, the way for and sure. the way that we take in information. Like we now know yeah. that this is the case. So yeah. for me, when I look at anything, I'm like, okay, cool. Like you know, she may, this person may or may not have done this naturally, and that's okay. Like I don't really, yeah. like you know, because the, you have to be kind to yourself, you know. Oh yeah, and for so sure. for and sure. so rather than they you know, have people admit it when they're clearly not going to, it's like okay, cool. Like let me actually just change the way I look at it, you know. Mhm, mhm, definitely, definitely. But, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, to some sort of sadder news though uh, Nikki mm-hmm. Graham um, yeah. passing away so if you don't know who she is she's from Big Brother and she's famous for like the who is she who is she who is she <laughs> who, who does she think she is yeah that was who so does she think she is like that's kind of crazy that's like OG Big Brother yeah 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 OG yeah, Big Brother um, like her and, and I'm sure Pete, everyone knows like, <laughs> yeah knows what Big Brother is but yeah no um, her and Pete carry on I was just gonna say like her and Pete, just her and Pete were like the highlight of that series, wasn't they? And they obviously they were in a relationship shortly afterwards and during it, I guess as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw him a few times around because he lives in Brighton, so we'd always see Pete. Um, but yeah, like so it was sad because I remember on Twitter I saw um, just a few weeks before she passed, her friends had posted a GoFundMe saying that her treatment's really expensive and like just going through the normal procedures just doesn't really help her. So they wanted to go through like a private one, and they were trying to raise money and say like, look, it's really expensive. Like it'll be great if people could donate and people were starting to donate um and yeah like it just got her didn't it the it, it was anorexia what she passed from if you guys didn't know oh, was it um, yeah so she was she was really bad there was a picture of her and she was like really really bad um i think so, she was always yeah. sort of quite quite petite uh yeah. during big brother as well I guess you never really like escape that. I think like addiction mm. always lives with addiction or eating disorders, anything like that just always lives mm. with you. It's just how you're, I guess, ignore, ignoring it in a way. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but do you know what I mean? It's how you're just combating it, I guess. Um, so I guess it was always like a demon that she was always gonna face. And then, yeah, unfortunately it took her. So yeah, it's really, really that's sad. That's crazy. I, I, actually did, I actually, I'm actually, i not gonna lie, I didn't actually know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, just in general, I'm not really engaging with like, like I'm not trying not to engage with like mm-hmm. when people pass away anymore. I just think it's just yeah. so hard. Like I just it can't. Is, it's a lot. It's a lot. My my head can't. You know, especially with like DMX as well, mm. um, which is super super sad. Um, and so rest in peace to him, of course. Yeah. Um, it's just like it's it's kind of too much. Like yeah, you know. I don't and know. yeah, it's, no, definitely. I mean, not to go too much into like people passing away, but yeah, obviously DMX passed. Um, and like you know, just give him. We're just giving him his flowers still. You know. Mm. Um, Bring yeah. it! What? Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, it's the came out yet. It's Bring so it! But it's so good. And <laughs> oh, DMX, DMX, DMX. No, honestly, um, like, and he again, was actually like, one of a kind. One yeah, of a kind, and I think that like just links what I was even saying about addiction because obviously, like, he had a heart attack because he over it was he overdosed, right? And and yeah. So it. what it is is that when you when you um. He obviously, we know that he kind of abused drugs for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so he was actually clean, he got clean. Right. Um, and then, but what it is that when your body goes through such trauma and when mm-hmm. you do the withdrawals, if you had mm-hmm. take a hit again, you're mm-hmm. done out here. Mm-hmm. And that's essentially mm-hmm. what happened. So um, he, it's it, supposedly he took a hit after, you know, a really, really long time. Um, yeah, and so yeah. because he'd, he'd been, he, like, according to, like, uh, reports, he'd actually been abusing 
crack since he was 14 years old mm-hmm. and bear in mind he was 50 mm-hmm. i think he ain't got i'm not sure how but he ain't got clean like sort of in recent years um so yeah so you know once you take a hit again you're, you're done and so basically yeah so i found him just did you had a heart attack went to a coma so yeah it's really <sighs> crazy like um mm. and it's just, it's just heartbreaking man like mm. could have been anything could have been excited and thought okay let me just have a quick you know um, and that kind of you know quantity supposedly wouldn't shouldn't really have that much of an impact on a person who because mm. you think that like, oh i've done it all before and it like it's not gonna be that deep but then right yeah, exactly yeah. and obviously by the way just so we're clear we're not you know champion it like we don't do we don't champion drugs here yeah. or um well everything but marijuana um and <laughs> but we don't champion but you know that's it's just the way the world is right so yeah know, kind of thing but it's just um yeah it's really it's actually really sad but you it know he really got sad. uh i think a, a really nice send-off from what i saw yeah um, yeah yeah and all his kids were together which was nice yeah and i think that's what he's yeah. always wanted as well so that was nice that they all yeah came exactly so that, yeah yeah man rest in peace sir man yeah but it's just it's a lot like it's a lot going on like as we as we know like <laughs> this whole year has been crazy for us mm-hmm. people so you know continue to to try and just stay positive and like and and yeah Ch- only engage with what you can engage with you know because brother it's, yeah it's hard for sure. it's hard that is a it's word hard. that is a word like yeah. and just engage with what you can engage with because mm-hmm. i'm just mm-hmm. trying to at my piece so mm-hmm. sometimes you know and actually that's the point sometimes you might see we post things on social sometimes we don't mm-hmm. on our social account and we do try to post quite a lot to be honest like for major issues we do definitely like try to engage but sometimes you see we're not because we have to protect our peace man it's yeah if you guys, yeah much. a few yeah. and i have been through a lot <laughs> so yeah, we, we, like, yeah. we've been through a lot and one day we'll tell the story so yeah but uh yeah so just uh just know that you know but we're obviously very supportive of of course everything um, mm-hmm. you know. and just just to speak to that as well like it, um this this start speaking of like um just disengaging for a while i was really having a hard time just like generally with social media because i took like a few weeks off of like i think maybe like one week or two weeks off of, like posting on social media um and this was around the time of like the stop asian hate movement as well which i think is just an important thing that i want to talk about um and if you guys don't know what the stop asian hate movement is it's just because there was for, I don't even know like how oh, well obviously it's spurred because of coronavirus and you know probably people like Donald Trump by saying things like oh it's the Asian virus and all that sort of bullshit um just you know put fueled a lot fueled up a lot of people and there were a lot of these attacks that were going on in place in San Francisco in America um and a lot of elderly Asian people were getting attacked and like beaten up um like really really bad um, and there was just this whole, I don't even, it just all came and everyone was just doing it all of a sudden. So like this movement started and it was just like a big conversation that opened up. It was like, well, it's not just this, it's like, you know, stereotypes that we see in movies, like our culture being erased, all that sort of stuff. So it was just a really important like movement that began and I like, started to open people's eyes up a lot. Um, and like, I was trying to post during that time about it as well. But again, like I said, I was, it was just hard cause I was trying to like not engage with that. Cause for me, I, when these issues happen I I just it hurts my heart so much I just find it so hard to like not continually post and not like try and spread the message so I was like I'm just gonna post a few things and then just take a step back because it was just too much so Mm. yeah Mm. yeah and I feel like you know it's um it's been really sad you know seeing what's happening and as as, and as she said that it's probably due to like you know 45s you know the Mm. way he spoke about like Asians like calling it the China yeah. virus China and virus like that that. Like, and it's yeah. just like it's really the Kung flu like literally yeah, like, like what the really fuck? really hurtful things you know really really hurtful things um, and yeah and just and literally just like people just following that and just you know like f- taking it upon themselves to like yeah. I'm sorry but not every um, you know Asian person descent sorry person of asian descent <laughs> has got anything to do with this stuff like, it's, it's just it's so wild when i think to myself like what did you really gain from like you know harming this random like an, um, you know, an older, elderly elder, person. elder person like what what did they do like what if they so lived pathetic. their whole life in america yeah. or the uk or wherever yeah um and they you know just like how a lot of us have lived our whole lives in the UK. Yeah. yeah we're descent from, you know, Africa and Caribbean or wherever. Mm-hmm. But like, we've lived a whole, like, what do I have to do with anything? Like, it's, exactly. it's so crazy. Like, it's honestly like, so I just, you know, I'm, I'm, you know we're never going to understand the minds of those people because we're not those people. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's just really, really like, 
I just really think to myself like <laughs> what like mm-hmm. what like what did you get did that make you feel better did you no you then... like a big grey man is attacking an elderly yeah like you're person. driving like, it, you're driving that? into them like you know uh, driving into driving into people it's just it's crazy like yeah. you're still gonna leave you're still gonna go to the supermarket you're gonna pick up COVID and who knows what's gonna happen <laughs> it's just like at the end of the day it's, uh, it's just it's wild so you know I just <laughs> We're definitely spreading, spreading the, you know, we're spread, spread the vibes and, and just, you know, definitely no hate, man. No matter who yeah, you are, man. It's, yeah. It's really wild. But um, let's talk about something positive. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's a few bit more uplifting for now. <laughs> okay. I want to shout out to the DSS. And if you don't know who the DSS yeah. is, okay? If you don't know who the DSS yeah. is, then where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Okay, the DSS stands for a dark skin society. And, <laughs> but who is the CEO and, though? Who is the CEO? But who, well, listen, it's, <laughs> this it is seems argument. it's still up in the air. It's still up in the air. I don't know who it is. I'm I'm voting for Damson Idris personally because he is what? so Yeah. Pain. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, like But Daniel, um, oh okay. Well, no, yeah. Daniel's pain too. No, don't don't get to I, but Damson Idris <laughs> is so He's pink, very cute. Yeah. He is cute. Yeah. Are you kidding? Me? And like, so I've taken it upon myself to do some extra research because you know, we've got, to do, we've, got, <laughs> well, we've got to do research for the podcast. Yes. Like, I can't just come on here and be like uneducated. <laughs> so I, just, I took, it, took it upon myself to do some extra research. I'm and, so um, thankful. Thank you, Charlie. Do you know what? And I pre- I'm glad that you're thankful because one of us had to do it. And, uh, <laughs> and literally, like, he, um, I just love like, how much he loves his like Nigerianness, like mm-hmm. literally, like uh, he's always playing, like playing the vibes, like if it's Burner, whoever. Obviously, South London, SE. He's from Petnam, which I love. Uh-huh. Like, I love, um, and that just means a lot to me because you know SE all day, and um, <laughs> it's just like it's just I just love it, and and just to that point as well, like um, the Black British. Um, although I'm not gonna lie, I don't rep Britain, but even so, the Black British guys just killing out there in LA yeah. just like or in America in general just amazing mm-hmm. you know him Nanu Kalia even on like diff- a different side of the industry you've got people like um oh no da- well we've got Daniel Ezra as well he does a he's a leading all-american mm-hmm. you've got people like Daps who's like the video uh video director music video director for like Migos people like that like just killing it just absolutely killing it Jackie mm-hmm. Ina's um fiance oh, yeah. Dennis like he's British as well yeah. we've got this, this little club and it's like I want to infiltrate it how do we infiltrate <laughs> the club <laughs> but like, did you see the picture that came out and for some reason Drake was there like he just had to get in on the action have you seen no, it so, ba- <laughs> so, so basically they um they um so Drake had like a like a private um, uh, after Oscars party, oh, which a lot of them went to. Okay, um, okay, okay. And then also, Drake had a dinner, I think, like a couple of days before as well. And everyone was written because right. Nates was there. I, I like Nates as well, but Nates was there. And everyone was like, Why are you there? Like, why, like how come you're there? Like, oh. kind of like not deserving to be there. It's like, Listen, Nates has got bangers, fam. Like, Nates is in LA recording, fam. Like, and also in those videos and pictures, you see Dave as well, who we love, love Dave. Um, oh yeah, I still yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. But we've got to shout out Daniel Kaluuya because listen, this guy is an Oscar winner. He's an Oscar Are you winner. kidding He's me? He's an Oscar winner. Uh, like, let's, mad. let's say it again, an Oscar mad. winner. So, um, for those who have been under a rock, he <laughs> um, he played uh, Sir Fred Hampton. Yeah. Hampton, yeah, yeah in in Juice and Black Messiah, um, and uh, that came out actually earlier this year. Um, and he won the uh, Oscar for uh, supporting best, actor, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, best supporting yeah. actor. Best supporting actor, and uh, it's just um, I'm I'm just like what the hell? And if I'm not mistaken, he's the first Black British man, right, to win that award. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I'm pretty yeah, sure I read I'm that. Don't know. I'm pretty sure I read that. I just wow. well, I can't think who else, if I'm honest, would have would have won it. If, yeah. If not, like, but yeah, d- um, I'm pretty sure I read that. So, um, black British man, not the first black man, but the, yeah, black British man, which is, I mean, or I guess it's just crazy. Like, and honestly, like, he's done Daniel so man. well. Like, if we think about like his like, honestly, I don't know trajectory. what he did before Skins, but obviously Skins is like um, posh Kenneth. Um, yeah. And then and like, he actually like wrote some episodes he as well. Did, so, like, he's he did. He did. So he's always been writing. And then, and then Black he did Mirror. Black Mirror. Yeah. yeah. And then like a lot of just stage going work from as well. Yeah, yeah. He's a done so work. well. A lot, a lot of people from that series of skins have done so well. Like Nicholas Holt. So well. Um, oh, what's the girl? Um, Kay, obviously Kay, my girl. Kay, 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 Pen- 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 oh yeah, that one. I was saying how old. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the, the Asian guy? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. 
I know exactly you're talking about. He was in Slumdog. He's yeah. a Slumdog millionaire. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, him, him. I'm oh, sorry if you got your name, but yeah, <laughs> you've done really um, well. You've done really he's well. He's done amazingly. He's done amazingly. Yeah, and, um, so good. and then well, obviously my favourite was Luke Pas- Pascalino. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, he's I'm done like him. a few he's bits. So you met him? Oh, my yes. God. Do you know how obsessed Pain. I was with Freddie? Freddie was like, oh, I was, I life. was obsessed with Freddie. The love of <laughs> Like, I oh. was obsessed with Freddie. You were not obsessed with Freddie. He's Dev, <sighs> Dev Patel, that's it. Oh yeah, Dev Patel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's him, that's all, yeah. Him, no, they've him. all done yeah, really, yeah. really well. So they've just, so um, well. just amazing. And yeah, shout uh, out to Daniel, man, like killing it out there. Listen, bring me, please. <laughs> bring me yeah. someone. Damson, Daniel, Daniel, the other Daniel, Ezra, <laughs> and anyone. Bring me, please. I'm trying to come. I beg. Please help your African sister out. Um, but can we shout out to Daniel's mum though? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Daniel's mum. <laughs> When he was doing a speech, he, he came said, to no, embarrass my mom, my his mum. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> his mum's face is honestly the best she facial said, expression Daniel? I've seen in my life. In it. You know you got class as soon as the conversation. I don't care you Fam, want to ask her. I've seen, seen a meme that said that. I've seen a meme that said Danny's mum had a sip of waiting when, <laughs> in the car. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> why did it people were like no he must have just been nervous to say that but no it was funny I think he just wanted to embarrass as well <laughs> no but Joe, Daniel's one of the people like, again you know I did the extra research for the show for the did podcast that, okay yeah and um, he's one of them people that in interviews like he um he he just he just says the wildest things but it's yeah, like <laughs> you can just tell that his mind just goes everywhere like he's yeah. just He's just he he's so he's so intelligent, man. He I love is, it. I love is, it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like that is. type of stuff is just the stuff that yeah. makes my world go around. Honestly, like just intelligent yeah. black men. To be yeah, quite frank, yeah, yeah. love to see it. So um, nah. On a real note, I feel like is there anything else we should end on that high? To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. We can end that. Yeah. I mean, Let's like end on that high, man. If you guys want us to discuss anything else, if you have any other topics in mind, let us know. Um, next week, we have got another All London Live uh, radio show woo, coming woo. up on Drop Side of them. So check us out on there. We'll post all the details when yes. it comes up. Um, yes. But yeah, if you if you are, and actually, no, nah, it's going to be too late. I was going to say if you're an unsigned artist, but it's too late. We're going to have recorders. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Next time, <laughs> in it. Next time. Next um, time. Next time. But yeah, just in general, unsigned artists or and that, that just definitely reach out to us send us yeah. your tracks we would love to feature you on the show so yeah yeah all right so we'll see you then guys but otherwise Peace out. take care bye bye